Hey guys, this is Eric Weingarten with Weingarten Racing. Finally, a set of Ford heads, small block Ford heads have showed up to be reviewed, kinda. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and warn you because I've finished flowing this head and I'm gonna show you to take it apart, take it off the bench so you can see it. It's gonna sound like I'm really promoting them and that, uh, that I, you know, they're the best things ever, um, which I don't think I'd say that much, but it's gonna sound like I'm a salesman on this deal. And I will go ahead and tell you, preface the whole video this way. I am an AFR dealer, but I'm also a Brodix dealer, Trick Pro dealer, a Profiler dealer, a whole bunch of other dealers for just about any head I can get. So I want to point that out first, but I'm not, didn't fudge these numbers because I sell AFRs. Because typically most AFR heads, and even though I sell them, I'd be happy to tell you this, most AFR heads in general do not flow what they claim on the website. This one so far seems to be the exception. That now makes two heads that have actually flowed close to or better than the numbers from the website. The other one was an AFR-227 competition port, um, small block Chevy one. Although I've flowed other ones, this newest one actually matched its numbers. I don't, even though I talked to them, they said, no, there wasn't really any changes. I think they did because um, it's definitely gotten better. And this one really shocked me. Now, I have never seen this AFR-205 head before. Um, you would think I would see more Ford heads. My largest customer is actually a Ford customer, but I haven't seen this head until today. This one's actually in because it's getting um, rebuilt. So what happened is I think they bent a valve or something because one of the valves is bent on the exhaust side. I'm just doing a fresh up. So I'm doing a valve job and um, milling them, cleaning them up and out the door as I go. No port work whatsoever. However, I'm flowing them exactly out of the box right now, except for I did blast them to get the carbon out of it, which you're going to see in just a minute. Here's the head. So, um, they are not new. I mean, they kind of were, but the customer had run them. Anyway, they're just to get to freshen up. So, if it looks kind of not new, that's what it is. They've been run before. Light use, though, I will say. So, I don't know the whole full story with that. But, um, anyway, all I did was put them in the sand blaster with my... Um, fine grits, um, glass, beads, not really, even. anyway, just to clean up the carbon off of them. That's the only thing. And nothing else done in them whatsoever. So they have a 208 intake valve and a 1600 exhaust valve, and I did blast those two. There are these. Now I will say AFR uses eight millimeter stems, which are the same things as the LSs use. Um, the stem diameter is smaller than say the usual 11 30 seconds, which is what most others use. Because of the stem diameter being reduced, um, there's more area here, even though the throat's actually measured at 90.3%. If you think about it, this stem's taking up less of that area than 11, 30 seconds. The other big re benefit though is the valve itself weighs less because the stem is that way. It's thinner. So it has a 1-600 exhaust valve. And I mean, the ports look pretty good. Hard to see because I forgot to get my flashlight. But, um, yeah, the ports look pretty good. It's a nice head. It does have a slight raised up exhaust port, not like the um, high ports from Trick Flow, but it's definitely higher than stock. Um, but this is what they look like. And here's what the numbers are. Here's a better view of the intake ports. If you notice too, and I haven't brought this up yet, um, the, even though this is a competition porter one, which means it has a smoother finish, I don't think they even offer a race porter one for the Fords. The vein is facing straight. If you look at the small block Chevy and even the LS ones, they've got them facing kind of like this direction would be for this head. Um, they don't, they're straight for the Fords. And usually they do it as a way of an, like an air manipulation thing when you have the wing or the vein facing the over here. Um, but in this case, it's just straight. So um, just thought I'd point that out. Here's a better view since the light's kind of halfway on of the Fords. It's a really nice port, as you can tell. Sorry, I'll get to your phone numbers, I promise. The bowl measured 97.1%. I forgot to tell you that too. Here's the exhaust port to get a better view. Pretty nice. So, there you go. Hopefully that gives you some more information about stuff. Here's a better view of the exhaust ports. By the way, it does have the two patterns. It doesn't, There, I think there's another one. Because if I remember right with the Ford staff and Forgive me if I don't know all the Ford header patterns, but I think they've got an N351, and then they've got a two and three quarter. And I wanna say Dart had a three inch, or one of them does, 
where the pattern's wider so it gets in the middle. And then there's, I think there's even another one beyond that as well. But um, anyway, this is the pattern that they have. This will work with probably most of the Ford headers that you come with because these are more of a stock type ones. It doesn't have the one, I forgot what they call it, or Ford, where it's here and here. But yeah, this had to be perfect for a 347, you know, a 302 stroke or whatever. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, that, even if you want to do like a, a 363 where you got the bigger bore and um, moderate stroke, an aftermarket block deal. But um, this head's definitely perfect for it. Nice for small cubic inches. So good head. Um, by the way, this logo, if you notice it, if you ever see a bigger AFR logo, that's an older one. The newer ones are more like this, much smaller logo. What I mean by that is usually they're like this big and they're like rougher and they're like in a square pad. That's a later casting. These are the newer castings when they're like that, just a heads up. All right, now let's get to the numbers because I know you're curious. And remember, it's gonna seem like I'm selling them. I promise you I'm not, it, the head's just that good. Well, this head did a lot better than I thought would. As a matter of fact, it did so good, I actually retested it twice to make sure I wasn't messing this up. So when you see the numbers, it, yeah. And this is on my Sanyas. It would read higher if it was on the Superflow. Um, I know it's going to seem like I'm selling them. And even though I am an AFR dealer, I want to tell you that because, you know, keep it up front with you and all. I didn't budge these numbers up or nothing. And this one really did shock me. Here are the numbers. Remember, this was flowed on a 430 bore. So here's why it shocked me. It actually did better than what they claimed. I actually looked on the website to see what the numbers were. And for the most part, it's up and um, in some spots quite a bit. Um, now they only flow to like seven on theirs and they went 320 at seven, uh, 254 at four and 306 at six. And being such a small runner at 205 cc's, it's really good. And by the way, it, it kind of holds itself like it goes 328 but then it starts falling off but for the most part it's really good um like i said very shocking i even took it off checked everything checked for leaks make sure nothing was happening put it back on refloat it yeah it's that good the exhaust side is not bad either remember i flow without an exhaust pipe um afr flows with an exhaust pipe still really good it does fall off though it goes 228 and then you can kind of hear the sound difference and it starts dropping off it goes down to 226 still pretty good ford exhaust ports typically aren't very good anyway and part of that's the reason for this one stock exhaust ports are way down here so that's bad but the reason why they don't flow say as good as a, a um, chevy is because if you look at it the exhaust ports move way back this way so you only have about this much distance to make that turn so unlike a chevy where it's further out so it's got way more um, room to make the turn. So in other words, you're looking at a small part of the port, not the whole port with the header. So typically they don't flow as good on the exhaust ports, even though they're actually pretty good. It's just kind of the nature. So at least on the flow bench, on the actual running engine, that's fine. So if I had a header and I hooked it up here, you would see it wasn't that far off. Now, anyway, point being is, that's a good head, so. Straight up saying it when it's good, it's good, and this one shocked me.